Okay, so this is my Magix uh, micro SD card, which was in my test uh, with hard disk, SSD, and SD card. And so I've got the test results of that running as an SD card. But then I thought, what would happen if I put it into a USB reader? What sort of results would I get from that? So this is a Kingston USB reader, and I think it's USB 2. I'm sure it's USB 2, because there's no mention of USB 3 anywhere. So this will be an interesting test, because I've just done a test with a couple of uh, USB 3 uh, USB sticks, and they were really, really slow. But this card actually passed the test in there as an SD card. So what happens if I put it in this little reader? So I've popped it in, I just need to change some of the files to make this USB bootable. So let's go to my Mac. Okay, so I'll pop the USB stick in. So this is a normal Raspbian SD card boot, uh, which has had all the latest updates. And uh, I've updated the EEPROM on my Pi to accept USB boot. So that's my SD card just shown up. So I'll double click on that and uh, if I go to config.txt, let's just check, I'm sure I've over, yeah, it's overclocked to 2147, which I did for the previous test. So all I need to do now is to copy in the 14 boot files, which means that this will convert this to a USB compatible image. So let's copy that in, apply to all, and hit replace. And that's it, don't have to save anything, don't have to do anything, just got to eject it and let's boot up the Pi and see how quick it boots up and uh, and what sort of speed we get out of it. Failed first of all look on this test, but let's compare the past test. So here we're looking at sequential write speed was 24730, which is slower. Random write speed 677, which is slower. And random read speed is 2942, which is, uh, so it's slower. So everything is slower, uh, which I guess is to be expected. So let's get these two. So here are my two USB sticks, which I've done in another test. And uh, they failed on everything apart from this passed on the random read speed. Bearing in mind, both of these sticks are listed as USB 3. And yet my SD card in a USB 2 drive uh, got much better results. So when we look at uh, the write speed, well, let's take the best one of the test, which was the, the White Kingston Data Traveler G4 White. That was running at 5,400 compared to five times as much uh, on the SD card in the USB 2 adapter. Then we've got random write speed 673, and the random write speed was one. Uh, and then we've got random read speed, 1498, and random read speed, 1898. So that had a better random read speed. So that was the only thing it passed on. But it does mean that this gets a pass running through a USB 2 adapter. So, oh, how, so how good is it going to be through a USB 3 adapter? If someone's got a decent SD card and they can try it in their USB 3 adapter, see how you get on. Post the results in the comments. I'm sure everybody would be really interested to know if you're going to get better performance out of your USB 3 socket with the existing SD card that you've got. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe not. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.